Hello everyone. You're welcome to the Maintenance Engineers DIY Quick Cap. Uh, today we're gonna. Uh, today is the 21st of July, 2021, and we're going to talk about the uh, pinos, the POS pinos safety relays. Here I have two pinos, two uh, POS safety relays. This is the pinos X3. It's very important, it's the big one. It has two channels, it has the power. It has the power, the power here, the channel one and channel two. All three lights has to be on to know that this is active and that your system is safe and that everything is how it should be. And this is a smaller version. It's all the same, but it has less contacts than this one. So it has, uh, you can do more than more with this and this one. So this one mon monitors redundancy and it also monitors the safety system and redundancy. You can put e-stops, safety switches, um, um, light curtains, anything for safety. You can put it here. Anything that you want to be interrupted once the, once uh, there's a danger, if there's, an, if there's a danger and you need to stop the machine in a twinkle of an eye, you need this. This is going to be able to do the job for you. And uh, the both of them, they do the same function. You know, one, it, it, does, uh, it does monitor your e-stop, monitor the safety system of your, of your conveyors or, or in an industrial setting. You know, the conveyors are controlled by electrical motors. So this is an electrical motor which controls, which can control a conveyor. This is a, um, an asynchronous motor which controls electrical, which can control a conveyor, a moving conveyor. It controls a lot of things. We have it in lifts, on uh, sensors, lifts. We have an uh, electrical motor. It's basically the, the, heart of, uh, the heart of engineering is, the heart of uh, manufacturing engineering is electrical motor. It's everywhere, it's inside cars as well, but I'm talking about the industrial electrical motor here. So we're going to use this uh, POS to monitor the system and uh, make sure that uh, it, nobody gets trapped because, because the conveyors are, has moving parts and uh, it's, it's necessary that you can be able to control, control these, uh, these machines and be able to stop them in a twinkling of an eye in because we we that way we can be able to um uh protect our workers uh from dangers of uh entrapment and also we can use it to to be able to stop the machine if the process is going wrong you know so that we can you can immediately interrupt the system or if there's a part of the machine part of the factory that you don't want people to go into and then, and then you can put a light switch, a light, a light curtain. These are sensors, emitter and receiver sensors that emit uh, infrared lights. So once these infrared lights are interrupted, it tells the it tells the it tells the, the POS pinos X3 that somebody has gone through the light, somebody has interrupted the barrier, switch off the whole machine, it to switch off the whole system until you come back and you reset it, and then the whole system will come back again, and. Uh, I've done a, a, a brief diagram of what uh, there's a project that I intend to do in the next few days. So this project is uh, is basically uh, well, it's an it's uh, an, uh, an electrical panel which controls a lot of machines that I want to rewire. So I've designed the safety system, the safety safety circuit of this uh, of this new project. So here, we, this is the this is the PO safety uh, safety system. This is this is the this 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 uh, this diagram is just to be able to control this, you know, so that this will be more, will be able to monitor the whole process. It's going to monitor a lot of machines, but just with this diagram. So we can see here that there is a, a, an e stop. This is an e stop that I've designed here, and this is a safety switch. This is another safety switch, another safety switch, and an e stop, and an e stop. Whenever any of this is interrupted, it breaks the system. Once the, the system is, bro is broken, 
he tells the whole system to stop. So how he does this is that there's a power supply. Here's the, here's the output. This is the power supply. So once this, this, this time I'm going to do it with uh, a, a direct current, just like I've done this with the direct current, because this is the transformer. And uh, it, it, transfer, it transformed the... Here we have, uh, we have 240 volts coming here. And then uh, this is basically transforming it to... Uh, we, how many volts are we using here? Yeah, we're using 24 volts here, we, so we're controlling this with 24 volts. But you can also control it with, uh, this is 24 volt DC. We can also control it with uh, AC, and I think you can even control it with up to 240 volt AC. As it says here, you can control it with 24 volt AC, 24 volt DC. You can control it with, okay, the contact. The contact can, con can, uh, can move up to can move about uh, 230 volts. But you control it with 20, uh, 24 volts. It goes with 24 volts AC or DC. That's what it says, states here, 24 volt AC or DC. So I'm going to demonstrate, um, this is a reset. So once the system has been broken, you have to reset it before it starts again. And then this light tells you it has stripped. So I'm going to demonstrate it with the little, little project that I've designed here. So initially it's stripped because you have to reset it to start the system. So once you reset it, the red light shows says that the system is stripped. So you have to reset it to tell it. And then you can see that there's no light here. There's no light because uh, the, the, you have to reset it because once you reset it, then the system will, will come back in. And uh, I'm going to show in my next video, I'm going to, in, I'm going to show you how step-by-step step, how it can be, it can be wired, but this is basically it here, and I am going to uh, leave a link on how to get a literature on on the PNOS safety relay because the PNOS, the PO safety relay has a lot of literature available on the internet, which can explain to you how to do the basic basic wirings in it and how you can program them and uh, configure it to suit your process. So. Uh, without wasting much time, more time, let's uh, reset it. So once we reset it, we can run this motor now. We can, we can start, we can... Uh, now the system can run. So we, let's assume that this is a conveyor that we're about to start. So, so that's the motor. That's the motor that, control, that we want to control. You see, this is the motor we want to control. So once we, we will push it, the motor is running. You know, the motor is running. So we can see that it's working, but once you push the emergency stop because there's a problem or anything, and you decide that you want to push an emergency stop because there's a problem, if you push the emergency stop, that light comes on and tells you the safety barrier has been broken. So this helps the, for trouble, for quicker troubleshooting helps you to know where to look for the problem. And then you cannot operate anything. It's not, it's not impossible to operate anything because the, until, until the system has been reset. And then once you remove the emergency stop and then you reset the system, now you can, you can start the motor again and run the motor again, you know? So that's how it works. And then you can see the channel the whole lights are on, on the channel, the, 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 the three lights are on. But when there's an emergency, the two channel goes out. So even if it's one channel on, or the other channel that is on, know that the two light has to be on in order for it to come back on. In order to, if not, you're not gonna be able to reset it. So, and that's all for now, and uh, see you on the next one.